and balances to make this a fair fight, or indeed on a lot of other public policy issues in Ohio. Um, so I'm sure you all know Ohio used to have a revolving door law establishing a waiting period before former elected officials could come back as lobbyists. That was struck down in 2010. I think it's really interesting to put that issue side by side with term limits, because what it does is it creates the, the dead certainty for everyone in office that they're going to need another job in the near future and arguably creates the temptation to be exploring these possibilities. What if I became a lobbyist afterwards? How would that work out? How can I make that happen? Um, now, you know, when you put those two things next to the issue of not disclosing lobbyist expenditures, I think it gets even more uh, worrisome. And there's a chart that we put in here on page 10 of this report, which shows that Ohio is only one of four states where you have term limits, um, where you have no revolving door law, and then you don't have disclosure of the money that these legislators turned lobbyists are, are making. So you don't see what kind of personal reward are they getting by having successfully marketed their expertise and their relationships in the legislature. So I think if you put these, these, these three things together, um, it, it can be almost a toxic uh, combination. And it's really unfair um, to the public um, when you consider you know, what, are, what are the resources of the people living with some of the problems of fracking versus the resources of the companies who are profiting. Off, off fracking. I think that's the that's the heart of the uh, of the issue here. Um, there's lots more in the report, but Catherine and I would love to take your questions.